We don't want to put a lot of pressure on your lower back, but we want to work your abs at the same time. So just lengthen your spine. Hi everyone, welcome to Moving Mango. I'm Hannah, the creator of the Moving Mango Method and also a certified Pilates teacher. Today I'm going to guide you through a 20 mean full abs Pilates workout to help you strengthen and tone your abs. If you're ready, just roll your mat. Let's do this together. Alright, now let's start to allow yourself by rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. We're gonna do a quick warm up before we start the workout. So, reverse, lengthen your spine, sit tall, and start to bring your hand to the opposite side. Shoulders down, come back to the opposite knee, and slowly bring your torso back to the center. Open your arm to the side, try to reach your hand to one side, to the other side. Come back and five, four, three, two, and last one. And slowly back to the center, rotate your wrist, reverse, rotate the shoulders and reverse and allow yourself to lie all the way down on the mat and we're going to start the workout here so i wanted to keep your arms along your body lift your legs up to 90 degrees inhale and slowly bring one leg down come back to the opposite side come back to the center flex the ankle bring your heels down again and five times for this set with your own breath, keep breathing. Four, belly button in, stabilize your hips. Keep the same angle on your knee. Three, so that way you feel your lower abs are working like crazy. Two, this is a very simple movement, but also very challenging. And last one. And slowly bring your leg down to the mat. Shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply to your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. And let's do something more challenging here. So lengthen one leg to the end of the mat, arms along your body, slightly open wider for support. Lift your hips up, press your foot down, inhale, lift your leg, and exhale, bring it down. Knee bend and lengthen, and 10. Stabilize your hips, nine. Keep breathing, engage your core as much as possible, eight. Pull the belly button in. Seven. Focus on the hips because we're working the abs here. Six. Very good. And five. Engage your core as much as possible. Four. Lower your hips if it's easier for the lower back. Or just give it higher for more challenging. And two. And last one. You have to listen to your body to find the best position that you put your hips and then lengthen your opposite leg to the side and hips up lift and down knee bend and lengthen and 10 keep breathing 9 belly button in 8 stabilize your shoulders 7 press your shoulder blades down your whole arms down for more support and 5 keep breathing Four, stabilize your hips all the time. Three, don't hold your breath. And two, inhale and exhale. And last one. And slowly bring your hips down to the mat. Shake your hips, inhale deeply, lift your heels up and down. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now the next movement, press your hips down and I wanted to engage your core. Lift your head off the mat, use your hands to support, open your elbows wider. Now inhale and exhale, reach your chest higher and then bring it down in 10, 9, 8, belly button in 7, 6, keep breathing and 5, 4, 3, 2, reach higher and last one. All right, now keep your feet toward the center, lengthen your one leg, engage your core, and now slowly try to reach your opposite chest to the leg. So leg up and down, and 10, keep breathing. Nine, eight, feel your oblique, 
seven and your lower abs work at the same time six keep breathing five and four belly button in three stabilize your hips two only your leg and your torso are moving and slowly knee bend lengthen to the opposite side again elbows open reach and come back for ten you can do this nine keep breathing eight seven six and five four press your foot down two and last one and slowly bring your torso down you can hug your knees to your chest straight your hips listen to your back inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply to your mouth Good. The next movement, I'm going to allow yourself to lift your head off the mat again. You can use your hand to support your head, open your elbows wider. Inhale and slowly try to reach your chest as high as you can so that way you feel your six back abs are working. Now you can either just lengthen your arms along your body or you can keep your hands, support your head if it's easier for the neck. So listen to your body but make sure you reach your chest higher to support your neck as well. I'm going to inhale and slowly lift your arms up and down and 10 keep breathing nine or if you keep your hand behind your head just bring your elbows up and down seven six good and five four belly button in three feel your six back abs are working like crazy and last one and slowly bring it down that's amazing we just work a full pack of ab muscles around including your obliques your six back abs and your lower abs and we're gonna continue so arms along your body lift your legs up again extend the ankle now inhale and slowly lengthen both legs and then bring it back easier version each leg at a time to the other side make sure you always stabilize your hips back in neutral 10 times together so 10 i'm gonna do the challenging version nine keep breathing eight but feel free to pick the one that you prefer and six the most important thing is we're listening to our body and four inhale and exhale three stabilize your hips and two and last one lengthen and bend put your feet down shake your hips and inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now lean on one side press your forearm down the other hand in front of your chest top leg to the front bottom leg to the back and flex the ankle keep your shoulders far away from your ear lift your waist off the mat and i wanted to inhale lift your hips as high as you can and slowly bring your hips down so 10 nine good eight keep breathing seven six and five four belly button in three two and last one lift and down to the other side top leg to the front bottom leg to the back lift and down for ten nine good eight keep breathing seven six and five four try to lift your hips as high as you can two and last one that's amazing and lie all the way down on your back again now this time i'm going to, have to engage your core and slowly use your hand to support your head again open your elbows wider press your feet down inhale try to lift your chest as high as you can now slowly pull the belly button in try to bring one knee to chest to the opposite side and 10 keep breathing press your hips down nine to the other side eight go further open your elbows wider seven and six keep breathing extend the ankle five good exhale every time you up and three you can do this and two take a quick rest anytime if you need to last one and then come back right away and slowly rest your head down shake your hips and inhale deeply to your nose arms along your body lift your legs up one more time flex the ankle and at this time i'm going to lengthen your leg come back to the other side and make sure back to your knees on top of your hips so make it more challenging by doing both legs at a time and 10 times together nine keep breathing it stabilize your torso seven six feel your lower abs are working like crazy five four belly button in 
inhale lengthen exhale come back two and last one lengthen bring it back and slowly bring your feet down shut your hips and her deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth rotate your ankle and reverse to the opposite side and then reverse now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to inhale and slowly open your arm to the side press your feet down draw your hips all the way up try to move your feet as close to each other as to the center as much as you can and engage your core now inhale and bring one leg up bring both legs and hips to the side and bring it back so use your hips to lead the movement to the opposite side come back and 10 times each side here with your own breath let's work the obliques together 10 to the other side engage your core come back with control nine keep breathing the new movement for today that's amazing eight inhale and exhale come back to the other side and seven to the opposite side press your whole arms down six you can bring your hands to the center to make it easier for the balance five to the opposite side lower your hips if it's easier for the lower back four engage your core as much as possible good we want to feel your obliques are rotating and working like crazy three that's amazing come back and two to the opposite side and last one to the opposite side and slowly bring your hips down to the mat shake your hips a little bit and her deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right now come back with some six back ups work here i'm going to allow yourself to inhale and lift your head off the mat again arms along your body engage your core now try to lift your legs at 90 degrees so inhale and try to lift your chest higher really as high as you can to the point that you feel like you don't even moving and your six back ups are already working open your elbows wider and then inhale slowly engage your core and then slowly inhale try to reach your hands towards the chest and then come back so 10 9 keep breathing eight try to reach your chest higher seven all the time six put your feet down if it's easier for you and five four listen to your body three good two that's amazing last one and slowly bring your feet down shake your hips and head deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right now i'm going to lift your legs up again head up again i'll elbows open engage your core extend the ankle and start to bring your elbow towards one side to the other side so put your feet down if you want to make it much easier for the balance so 10 times here 10 keep breathing and nine belly button in it use your shoulders to lead the movement not your neck six so your neck still stabilized and four your upper body is moving here two and last one and slowly bring your torso down shake your hips and head deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready just slowly lean on one side again and support your head so rest your head down on your arm extend the ankle by the position of your hips your legs just lift above the mat without moving your hips here you want to keep your shoulders far away from your ears and start to move your legs forward and backward so 10 9 keep breathing 8 7 try to go as far as you can as long as you can control and stabilize the hips and 4 good 3 that's amazing and 2 and last one and slowly bring your legs back to the center now inhale lift both legs up and lift your opposite leg just above the hips and come back so 10 nine engage your core eight if you feel that you can do a little bit higher then feel free to try it bring it down with control don't just drop your leg that's amazing three two and last one all right and now slowly engage your core bend both knees to 90 degrees inhale and move one leg towards the front hand down to the mat engage come back to the opposite side and ten Keep the same angle on your knee. Nine, belly button in. Eight, good. 
you can rest your bottom leg down to the mat if it's easier for you but we really want to work your abs here so try a little bit, keep breathing but feel free to listen to your body and you're going to build that strength gradually by practicing consistently so no worry about that very good and last one and slowly bring your legs down to the mat shake your hips, rotate the ankles and then reverse go to the other side inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now rest your head down on your arm again both hands down to the mat extend the ankle and lift your leg just above the hips inhale and slowly just move your leg to the front your bottom leg to the back and then reverse so 10 engage your core stabilize your torso 9 keep breathing 8 pull the belly button in 7 good only your legs are moving and 5 four inhale halfway exhale halfway and two stabilize your shoulders last one back to the center feet down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to engage your core lift both legs up again flex the ankle and bring your leg as high as you can and bring it down 10 times so 10 keep breathing nine belly button in high go if you can bring it down with control seven listen to your lower back six and five good four belly button in three two and last one lift and down and slowly bring your legs down all right now bend your knees i want to engage your core and slowly lift your both legs up by moving your knees further away engage your core bring your top leg to the front and your bottom neck leg so 10 keep breathing same angle on your knee 9 to the other side come back 8 and 7 press both hands down make sure your shoulders far away from your ears 6 and just only move your top leg if it's easier for your balance <laughs> good but make sure you feel your abs are working to stabilize your whole body in this position you bring your legs down to the mat shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose rotate the angles if you need to exhale deeply through your mouth all right allow yourself to sit up and sit along the mat now engage your core lengthen your spine open your legs if you apart and feel free to bend your knees if it's easier for you to open the hips and to lengthen now flex the ankle hand on hand lean backward try to push your chest up pull the belly button in start to rotate your torso from left to right come back and 10 to the opposite side further if it's more challenging for you but listen to your lower back eight very good and seven shoulders down six keep breathing and five more times here with your own breath four inhale and exhale to the other side two good and last one to the opposite side and slowly bring your hands down bend your knees and press your feet down lean further away round your spine slightly walk your hands towards the hips engage your core and from here i want to try to use your core to push your chest up lengthen your spine and then round now work your core here so five belly button in four relax your shoulders three focus on the abs and last one and slowly bring your torso back shut your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right and when you're ready i'm going to slowly bring your hands to the front palms facing down lean backward one more time press your feet down to the power you feel good with the hips chest open lean as far as you can pull one arm back and to the opposite side come back so press your hips sitting bones down to the other side and nine to the right keep breathing eight feel like you're pulling something really hard here and seven to the opposite side shoulders down six chest up back in neutral position and five bring your torso a little bit further 
moving forward if it's easier for you so really listen to your lower back here we don't want to put a lot of pressure on your lower back but we want to work your abs at the same time so just lengthen your spine opposite side and slowly bring your torso back shut your hips inhale deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right now let's do a little bit warm a cool down before we complete the workout for today and that's amazing you guys i'm really happy that you are here with me and do this workout with me now rotate your shoulders fully to four directions you can cross your legs like this or open your legs wider if it's more comfortable for you so listen to your body reverse open your arm to the side and lean on one side stretch that waist the side of your body the one that you work really hard in this workout good and slowly come back to the other side go a little bit further open your chest a little bit wider but listen to your lower back just go as far as your limit the range of movement limitation allowed very good to the other side reach back to the center hand to the opposite knee relax your shoulders to the opposite side and slowly bring your torso back one more time to the other side and back to the center at your back cat and cow sitting position and round your spine in four keep breathing three do it slowly good two and last one at your back exhale round and back to neutral rotate your shoulders reverse rotate the wrist and then reverse rotate the head slowly and reverse one more time because this feels so good and to the opposite way and slowly bring it back to the center shake your hips and deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth and that's the work after the thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed it let me know by commenting below how did you feel after the workout i'm gonna see you tomorrow for the next workout and that's it